Hello everyone, today is August 21st and I haven't made a video in a few days. I've, I've gotten some messages from the Lord and they've been pretty personal. There's been a little bit I thought was for a bigger audience, but I just wasn't sure if he was um, going to formulate another lesson like he has been doing, but today he told me no lesson. So I am going to probably make two videos and just catch us up to, uh, to today. And I, just so neither one of them is too long. Uh, I've been making some really long videos and I know that that's hard uh, to take that kind of time. So uh, before I get started in this message, he's been saying he wants me to proclaim his, his name boldly. And so I, I claim that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I want to invite the Holy Spirit here into this video, this moment. Uh, Holy Spirit, please guide my words, prepare hearts to receive, and don't let anything be spoken that's not of you. So before I begin this one, he talks a little bit about my ministry not going to begin until I get cleaned out. So, I mean, to me, I, he sort of led me to this ministry. This is these videos and just uh, this process has been what I considered a ministry, but he's been recently talking to me about expanding this ministry and growing it and taking me into new territory. <laughs> and I can start, I'm seeing that happening and I'm just kind of shocked and um, in, I'm amazed that this is the direction, just based on who I have known myself to be. Um, you know, when I was a kid, we had a fam. she's still a family friend who uh, was a missionary nurse, and she traveled all over the place, and she would come home. And even here, you know, she had supernatural experiences, but abroad, you know, they experienced the supernatural, the... Um, demon possession and those type of things are a little more commonplace or understood differently than they are here in the United States. And she would tell me some of those stories and they terrified me. Honestly, I, I have grown up not wanting to watch scary movies. I thought real life was scary enough based on what she said. I just didn't want those type of things in inside of my, my awareness and my mind. Uh, it scared me. And I used to tell the Lord, like, Please don't ever let me see a demon. Please don't ever let me see an angel. Like, I just don't think I can handle that. Um, but he's definitely changed me. And those things do not terrify me nearly as much as they used to. Uh, I remember after she told me some of those stories, like, I couldn't... I was jumped at my own shadow for a while. And I remember keeping my eyes open in the shower and, like getting soap in my eyes just because I was so afraid to close my eyes and if anyone talked about demons I just like la 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 because I just didn't want to know so just the fact that this is the direction I'm just amazed at it that's how the Lord works though he, he does things that only he could do and while we're on that subject I just wanted to say last night at church and I'll talk more about this in, in the second video probably. But last night at church, um, my husband, he's been collecting really old Bibles that he finds at estate sales. And he just loves, he just loves the word. He loves studying it. And I just, if you don't know our testimony or his testimony, up until a little over a year and a half ago when he started reading the Bible, he'd never read a book in his life except for a comic book somebody gave to him once. He maybe has a little bit of dyslexia. He doesn't, he struggles to read. He's not good at it. He doesn't, hasn't liked to read. And just to show that the, that the Lord just works in such unexpected ways with such unexpected people. I would consider my husband now a Berean. Like, I think that's his spiritual gifting. He has read the Bible now, uh, He's on the fourth time through. I think he might be in Song of Solomon or somewhere around there. Fourth time through in a year and a half. And if I have a question about the Bible, I ask him and he knows the answer. He really has been retaining it and studying it. And it's just amazing that that's his strength. 
Only the Lord can do the, this stuff. It's He's so good. And um, anyway, this message uh, from the 18th. Daughter, wounded one, listen to me. You are not going to begin your ministry without getting cleaned out. We are going to start really cleansing out the debris now. You are right. You are clean before me. But for the power of the Holy Spirit to really ignite in you, there can't be any blocked tunnels. Do you understand? Yes, Jesus. Thank you. What do you want me to know? You were shown some of what still grips you today during worship. You will need to repent of many things and begin to really let me scrub you. I said, okay, Lord. I said, thank you. Melissa, the enemy has worked to break down your connection with me your entire life. Yet I have held you safely in my arms. He could not destroy what I have ordained. All of this will make you stronger. I love you, daughter. I said, I love you, Lord. Melissa, find time for me today to worship and listen. Let me heal you piece by piece. We will get it all out. Are you ready? Yes, Lord, I believe I am now ready. Thank you. Melissa, do not fear. We are going to go through this hand in hand. I said, okay, Lord. Melissa, the tiniest speck is a barrier. I want you to really dig in there with me. Open it all to me to clean. I said, okay, Lord. Melissa, the days ahead are going to be full of malice and anger and deceit. I want you to ready for battle. I want you purified from within. You will soon see what all of this means. You will soon know what the plans for my people are. The disasters happening are just a precursor. They are a picture and a revealing of things to come. Do not fear, daughter. I am going to deliver on everything I have spoken. The naysayers will soon see. I am doing a mighty work, a deep cleansing, and I will return for a spotless bride. I told you it, bur it would burn. It is a process of refinement. I love you, Melissa. You are being safely held even now. We are not done. Keep coming toward me, my child. Never give up. And that was all capitalized. And then the next day on Saturday, so I just want to mention here, on Tuesday, I went out, uh, remember some people from my church run uh, a healing farm for families and individuals and all types of people come for all different reasons. And it, it's a ministry and, and they specialize in families and, uh, and setting people free and it's counseling and things like that. And sometimes missionaries come just for a refresh and uh, currently there's there's a girl there that they asked me to meet with and uh, they've asked me to to begin as a part of their ministry team but I'm not really sure what that looks like yet so it was just kind of trying it out as a mentor type of a situation and she's actually a really really strong Christian so um, we just spent a lot of time talking and uh, just sharing testimony and things like that well on my way home, they, uh, the people that run it stopped me and said that over the weekend there was going to be a couple there that I've met a couple of times and I know that they do deliverance ministry and they said, we don't know how to ask you this in a way that's not weird so we're just going to ask you, do you and Abe want to come and have a session with them? And I was just like, I had uh, the Lord's been talking about these type things and I'm just like, this has got to be appointed you know, by God and and uh, I talked with, with my husband and we decided to do it. And um, we went in there and uh, not really knowing what to expect, but wanting to be fully cooperative with the process. And I'm not sure that the Lord wants me to reveal everything that happened on this video, but let me just say, um, you know, through their testimony and through what we experienced during that session, uh, I am now even I, I believed before you know that Christians can have demonic presence and strongholds and uh, areas of captivity I, I believed that but now uh, I, I would say that I'm unwavering in that uh, since since that experience so the Lord just increased mm, my confidence in what I believe there and and my uh, ability to to claim that boldly before you. 
as a result. So that that was kind of amazing. So I believe this message I must have received after that. So must be I spent time with the Lord later in the day on Saturday. Honestly, don't remember. But we went out there in the morning, so I think that that must have been what happened. So uh, Saturday the 19th. Melissa, my child, today you discovered that the enemy takeover is real. You discovered that he can speak and he can take possession. Melissa, listen to me now. I am not pleased with the enemy attacks, but you are learning by this. I am doing a great and mighty work. I am setting the stage for a battle unlike any the world has ever seen. Melissa, the enemy seeks to devour and kill and destroy. I come to give life and renew and restore. You do not need to fear man. He cannot harm you. Fear me, daughter. I am training you up. I am setting you free. I am showing you the way to total deliverance. We are not done, daughter. You will soon see that all I am doing is for a purpose. You will discover that I have appointed times and seasons and all that exists is by my design. I do not flip-flop. I do not change. I am solid rock. I am solid ground. You can count on me, daughter. I have brought you to this place, and I will see you through. Do not fear the attacks of men who do not know. They will discover truth in their own time. I have designed a plan for man. Every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that I am Jesus Christ. They will discover that they have chosen to believe lies, and the truth will set them free. Melissa, you are beginning a journey into new territory. It is going to bring you closer to the truth than you have ever dared to go. Daughter, I brought you to this place, and I am holding you here too. This has all been to show you and teach you in a very real way how the enemy operates. You do not need to fear. Because I live, you too have life. Because I live in you, you have authority to cast out demons, heal the sick, and raise the dead. Understand what this means. Understand who you are in Christ Jesus. You will grow and you will become all that I have intended for you to become. Keep stepping out in faith. Keep seeking me in worship, in spirit, and in truth. Keep desiring things from above. Melissa, you are going to ignite passion in others. I have given you this gift. You are going to turn hearts back to me. This is all because of the work I have done in you for my glory. Keep coming, daughter. Keep seeking me and desiring me above all things, and I will take you to your destinations. Do not look to the left or to the right. Follow me. Read the word. Study the word. Learn the word. Love the word. I am the word. I am he. And then I asked him a question. There was a woman who um, who said that she knew I was false because I had said in a video, you know, don't trust any man. Take everything that you hear to the Lord and ask him. And so I asked him if that's something I shouldn't say. I said it, you know, because I, I think that's true. And I've heard other people say that. And so um, he said... Uh, Melissa, she is correct to say that you should proclaim with boldness the truth placed inside of your heart. I desire you to walk in boldness, boldness and in truth. I do not want you to be tossed to and fro. Proclaim my name boldly. I am doing this work in you. You have nothing to fear. You do not need to feel any sickness or shame. Cast that out. I am your strong tower, Melissa. In me you find safety and refuge. In me you live and exist. Rest there, daughter. Do not fear. Do not resist me. I am your defender, the ancient of days, your creator, your friend, your Adonai. Sing to me, daughter. Sing songs of thanksgiving. Today was a big step toward your freedom. Keep coming. And then it says, sorcery still has a grip. I don't know if the Lord said that or if I said that. And then I said, Lord, how do I fight the attacks? Your armor, daughter. Put on your full armor every single day. You have not been doing this, and I haven't every single day. So I said, okay, Lord, thank you. Um, and then I said, help me experience all you have spoken over me today. Help me walk in agreement with you. Help me to resist the lies of the enemy. Help me to grow and organize my days to be full of your word, your presence, and worship. I love you, Jesus. I said, Lord, is there anything else? And I didn't hear anything else, and I asked, Lord, 
why are you no longer speaking about the end days? Because he hasn't really talked about that in a while. Melissa, this is what I want you to know. I have spoken all of these things in order to ready hearts. I am now training and building my body. This is a mighty work over the earth. It is being done globally. You are going to see the truth in this. I am coming and I am doing this work. Come to me all who are weary. I will give you rest. Do you have to know my plans or do you need to know me? I have said I am coming. Now draw close to my side and see the plans I have for you, the calling on your life and the plans for redemption. I am gathering my sheep, I am drawing them in close and I am revealing truth to set them free. I am not done, you are not done. We journey on toward the finish line, run the race, finish strong, ignite in passion, grow in strength, do not lose hope. I am going to complete my work and it will be good. I love you children. Keep drawing and close. Allow me to do this work in you. Forgive others. Love others. Receive the fullness of my love. Allow me to wash your feet and begin to serve others like never before. You are my body. I am your heart. Do this and remember I go with you. I am in you. All around you I surround you. I am your creator God and I have spoken these words to you through my servant Melissa. She is not deceived. She has been fearful but she is not deceived. And I'm going to make a separate video uh, of today's message. And um, the, both of those did come with scripture. So I will put, put that in the notes. Um, I wrote in the margins, I noticed on this one, Hebrews 6, 1 through 2 and Matthew 10, 8. I'm not sure why, but I'll probably put those in the notes as well. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.